Hello Grade 10! Our objectives for this lesson Define sequence, finite and infinite sequence Find the next few terms of a sequence and Give the general or nth term of a sequence Answer this activity first Find the three missing terms using the pattern Item 1 1, 4, 7, 10, 13 Kung i-observe natin yung pattern, we add 3 in the previous number. So, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 3 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13, then 13 plus 3 is 16, 16 plus 3 is 19, 19 plus 3 is 22. Next, item 2. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So this is an example of multiples of 5. We have 30, 35, 40. Item 3. A, C, E, G, I, K. So nag-skip lang tayo ng letter doon sa dalawang letters, sa pagitan ng dalawang letters. So A is skip B, then C is skip D, E is skip F, G is skip H, I is skip J. So K is skip L. The next term is M O Q. Next number 4. 4 is the even numbers or multiples of 2. So we have 10, 12, and 14. Last, 5. We have 7, 14, 21, 28. So obviously, this is an example of multiples of 7. So 7, 14, 21, 28. Next is 35, 42, and 49. Ano ba kapag sinabi nating sequence? A sequence is a set of numbers that usually follow a particular pattern. Ibig sabihin, meron tayong pattern na sinusunod. Okay? Example, or another example, we have 6, 7, 9, 12, 16. So yung 6 natin, this is the first term or a sub 1. 7 is the second term or a sub 2. 9 is the third term or a sub 3. 12 is the fourth term or a sub 4. 16 is the fifth term or a sub 5. So each number or element in a sequence is called a term. We have two kinds of sequence, finite sequence and infinite sequence. So a sequence is a function whose domain is the finite set 1, 2, 3, and then we have the last term which is represented by n, or the infinite set, 1, 2, 3, ellipses, or 3 dots. Now, let us differentiate between the two. Kapag ba sinabi natin finite set, ano daw siya? Pag infinite set, ano daw siya? So, let us consider these two examples. We have 12, 15, 18, 21. And the other one is 12, 15, 18, 21, ellipses, or may 3 dots pa tayo. Obviously, Yung first given natin, this is an example of finite sequence because it has a last term. Ano ang last term? 21. The second given is infinite sequence. Bakit siya naging infinite? Kasi yung ellipsis, ibig sabihin may kasunod pa sa 21 or without a last term. Now, find the first five terms of the sequence whose general term is given by a sub n is equal to 2n plus 1. Again, n is equal to term. So, hahanapin daw natin yung 5 terms using the general term na a sub n is equal to 2n plus 1. So, papaltan muna natin yung n natin ng 1 kasi first term ang kukunin natin. So, a sub 1 is equal to 2 Again, yung n natin, papalta ng 1 times 1 
plus 1. So, 2 times, uh, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1. That is 3. Next, second term or a sub 2. Papaltan ulit natin ng n natin ng 2. So, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. How about the third, the third term or a sub 3? So, that is 2 times 3 plus 1. So, 6 plus 1 is equal to 7. Next, fourth term or a sub 4 is equal to 2 times 4 plus 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. And last term or fifth term, we have a sub 5 is equal to 2 times 5 plus 1 or 10 plus 1 is equal to 11. Therefore, the first five terms of the sequence is 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. Next, find the first three terms of the sequence whose general term is given by a sub n is equal to 5n minus 3. Then give the 25th term. Kunin daw muna yung first three terms, then after that, 25th term. Again, n is equal to 3. First term, or a sub 1, is equal to 5 times 1 minus 3. Or 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Next, second term. So we have a sub 2 is equal to 5 times 10, which is 10, minus 3 is equal to 7. Next, third term. 5 times 3 is 15, minus 3 is equal to 12. And then, get the 25th term. So 5 times 25, that is 125 minus 3 is equal to 122. Therefore, the first three terms of the sequence is 2, 7, 12. And the 25th term is 122. Okay, how about this one? Find the 15th term of the sequence whose general term is given by a sub n is equal to n squared plus n minus 1. So, kung titignan, medyo mahirap-hirap kasi meron tayong exponent. Pero ang pinapahanap lang sa atin ay 15th term. So, again, the general term is a sub n is equal to n squared plus n minus 1. So, 15th term, papaltan natin ang n ng 15. So, we have a sub 15 is equal to 15 squared plus 15 minus 1. So, 15 times 15 is... 225 plus 15 minus 1. So we have 240 minus 1. Therefore, the 15th term is equal to 239. Next, write the general term of the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12. So in this part, we will get the general term of the sequence. As we observe, we have multiples of 3 or we add 3 in the previous term. So 3 plus 3 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. Then 9 plus 3 is 12. 3 is our first term or a sub 1. 6 is the second term or a sub 2. 9 is the third term or a sub 3. Then 12 is the fourth term or a sub 4. So gagamitin natin silang lahat to get the general term. Okay, so since ang, ang pattern natin ay multiples of 3 or add 3, try natin na i-multiply ang 3 each term. So we have a sub 1 is equal to 3 times 1 is equal to 3. a sub 2 is equal to 3 times 2 is equal to 6. a, a sub 3 is equal to 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And a sub 4 is equal to 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So, yung 3, 6, 9, 12, akumasya din sa sequence natin. So, therefore, tama yung rule na ginamit natin. So, our general rule or general term is A sub n is equal to 3n. Last, give the general term of the sequence 
1 over 2, 1, 3 over 2, 2. Kung titingnan parang ang hirap kasi may fraction. Pero paano natin kukunin ang general term kapag may fraction? Okay, so a sub 1 is equal to 1 over 2. a sub 2 is equal to 1. a sub 3 is equal to 3 over 2. And then a sub 4 is equal to 2. So kung makikita natin, meron tayong dalawang terms na parehas ang denominator or similar fractions. Yung a sub 1 at a sub 3. Then yung a sub 2 at a sub 4, full number silang dalawa. So, gawin nating fraction na may denominator na 2. Unahin muna natin si a sub 2. So, again, ang denominator ay 2. So, ano yung pwedeng maging yung numerator na i-divide kay 2 para makuha ang 1? So, that is 2. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Next, a sub 4. Again, over 2. So, ano pwedeng maging numerator? Okay, so 4. 4 divided by 2, that is 2. Okay, so by observing our patterns, we have similar fractions. So from A1 or A sub 1 up to A sub 4. The denominator is 2. Then observe the numerator, that is the consecutive numbers from 1 to 4. So ulit, ang denominator ay 2. And then, yung... Numerator natin ay yung 1, 2, 3, 4 or consecutive numbers from 1 to 4. So we have a sub n is equal to over 2. Yung 2 is the denominator. And then yung nasa taas natin ay n or term. So that's why the general term is a sub n is equal to n over 2.